Good morning, everybody. Will you please rise for the national anthem sung by Ryan Tier, a graduating senior in music, theater, and psychology. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Thank you, Ryan. You may all be seated now. Welcome to the Fall 2022 Commencement Ceremony for the College of Arts and Sciences at Kansas State University. My name is Chris Colbertson, and I am the Interim Dean of the College. This is a happy occasion to which we particularly welcome parents, spouses, relatives, and friends of our graduates. We are here this morning to honor our graduates and to celebrate with them their success and the completion of their rigorous programs. Now I would like to recognize the platform party. Would you please stand as your name is read? Dr. Kamathi Choma, Assistant Dean for Diversity, Recruitment, and Retention. Dr. Brandon Haddock, representing Diversity and Multicultural Student Affairs. Ryan Teer, graduating senior in Music, Theater, and Psychology. Dr. Philip Nell, University Distinguished Professor and today's speaker. President Dr. Richard Linton. Provost Dr. Charles Tabor. Amy Button Rentz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. Dr. Scott Tonona, Associate Dean of Academic Affairs. Please join me in recognizing the platform party. Now we wish to recognize all the departments in the College of Arts and Sciences. Please stand as your name is read and please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Art, Sri Jogokar. Biochemistry and Molecular Biophysics, Dr. Michael Zolkiewski. Biology, Dr. Mark Ungerer. Chemistry, Dr. Krista Ackeroy. Economics, Dr. Philip Gale. English, Dr. Karen Westman. Geography and Geospatial Sciences, Dr. Charles Martin. Geology, Dr. Pamela Kempton. History, Dr. David Graff. Media and Communication Studies, Dr. Gregory Paul. Mathematics, Dr. Andrew Bennett. Modern Languages, Dr. Rebecca Bender. Music, Theater, and Dance, Sharon Worcester and Dr. Philip Payne. Philosophy, Dr. Bruce Gleemore. Physics, Dr. Brett DePaula. Political Science, Dr. Nathaniel Burkhead. Psychological Sciences, Dr. Gary Brays. Social Transformation Studies, Dr. Christy Lanius. Sociology, Anthropology, and Social Work, Dr. Don Kurtz. 
Statistics, Dr. Christopher Vall. Please join me in recognizing the leaders of our academic departments. It is my pleasure now to introduce today's commencement speaker, Dr. Philip Nell. Dr. Philip Nell is a university distinguished professor of English at Kansas State University, an author or co-editor of 13 books, including a double biography of the children's writers Crockett Johnson and Ruth Krauss, entitled Keywords for Children's Literature and Was the Cat in the Hat Black? The Hidden Racism of Children's Literature and the Need for Diverse Books. This book was one of the catalysts for Dr. Seuss Enterprises' March 2021 decision to stop publishing six Dr. Seuss books that contain racist imagery. Dr. Nell was a featured guest on national news programs around the world and was a former clue on the popular American game show Jeopardy. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Philip Nell. Good morning, graduates, families, friends, fellow teachers, and fellow learners. For we are all always learning, and I think all always teaching, even and especially when we are not aware that we are learning and teaching. As your speaker today, I'm called upon to share what I've learned, impart a portable piece of wisdom for you to tuck into your pockets or beneath your tasseled caps. Instead, I am going to talk about what I do not know and about what I have had to unlearn. I'll talk about when not knowing has helped and when not knowing has not helped, and how unlearning something we had thought to be true is itself an important kind of knowledge. Have I lost you all? With that opening, are you now checking your phones, Googling my name, and wondering why on earth I was asked to speak today? Well, if you look up for the next seven minutes, I'll do my best to make it worth your while. I owe one of my proudest achievements to not knowing. When I started writing a biography of Crockett Johnson, the author of the classic children's book, Harold and the Purple Crayon, I did not know that writing a biography was impossible. You see, first of all, life has no narrative, no story. But if you are writing a biography, you need to provide a narrative, otherwise no one will read your book. Second, how do you stop researching? A biography. I mean, a biography is a giant jigsaw puzzle with an unknown number of pieces, no picture on the box, and in fact, no box at all. So only by beginning in ignorance of all of this could I actually write what turned out to be a double biography of Johnson and his wife, Ruth Krauss, also a creator of children's books. Now that, that is an example about dreaming. When you're dreaming, not knowing can be really helpful. You lack the practical, sensible, rational limits that might end your dream. But, and I know you know this because you have also had times when lack of knowledge has tripped you up, not knowing can also be harmful, harmful to yourself, and worse, harmful to others. Perhaps you remember in March of last year, as Dean Culbertson mentioned, when Dr. Seuss Enterprises decided to cease publication of six Dr. Seuss books that contained racist imagery. Well, the morning this occurred, I thought, okay, five of those six books, not surprising. Seuss often uses foreignness as a kind of punchline, and I'd already noticed racist caricature in some of his books. But I was really surprised by the sixth book, On Beyond Zebra. That is a personal favorite. It invents an entirely new alphabet to describe all that you can see if you don't stop at the letter Z. It reminds young readers that this language they're learning is arbitrary and slightly ridiculous, 
What could possibly be objectionable? Well, I took the book off the shelf, I began rereading, and upon looking at one illustration, realized that Seuss's caricature of a Middle Eastern man was a caricature of a Middle Eastern man. I, uh, I had not seen the illustration as a caricature until that moment. Now, as Dean Culbertson mentioned, I, I've not only written about racism in Seuss's work, but my book, with the cat in the hat black, actually began the conversation that led to Dr. Seuss Enterprises withdrawing those six books. So you'd think I would have noticed. I hadn't. I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't see what I didn't see. So how do we become aware of what we don't know? How do we begin to see what we have failed to see? This is where unlearning comes in. Unlearning can help us become aware and see what we missed. Growing up, I read lots of books and consumed lots of culture featuring straight white kids like me. As a result, that perspective came to seem natural, normal, and objectively true. This perspective, of course, really limits my understanding, so I've had to do a lot of unlearning, and I still am. Well, here's a, a great way to unlearn, and there are many great ways, but one is to read books and consume culture that does not center you or your experience. In my case, I read, teach, and study multicultural children's literature, like Jacqueline Woodson's The Day You Begin, a picture book that gently corrects the oft-repeated, well-intentioned misunderstanding that we are all the same. We share a common humanity, yes, but we are not the same. As picture book creator Christopher Myers has said, quote, their narrative, we are all the same underneath, is a fear of difference. Furthermore, as Myers reminds us, our differences are really interesting. When young adult novelist M.T. Anderson was writing his magnificent nonfiction book about the Russian composer Shostakovich, he did a deep dive into all the writers Shostakovich admired. As Anderson said, quote, everything about their work was surprising and unfamiliar. What a pleasure it was to open a book and have no idea, none, where it would take me. All children and all of us, grown-ups, need books like these. Books that serve as what Redeen since Bishop has called windows. They offer a view of people whose experiences differ from our own, but also what Bishop calls mirrors, books that reflect us, that affirm our identity, and what she calls sliding glass doors, window books that invite us to step through, interact, join the struggle of those on the other side of the window. Now, as Dr. Seuss did, I grew up with mostly mirrors, and as children do, he and I absorbed many ideas without our awareness and without our consent. Some of those ideas were racist or sexist, and we both tried to unlearn those ideas. But Seuss actually wrote two children's books and several political cartoons that are actively critical of prejudice. Though at the same time he was creating those, he also recycled racist caricature in his work. So as I work to unlearn my own prejudices, Seuss's career has taught me that, for example, racism is not an either or. It's often a both and. People can oppose racism and, and sexism and other isms and support those same isms without intending to. Because racism, sexism, all the forms of, of prejudice do not depend upon self-perception or intent. Which is another thing that I've had to learn that I can cause harm without intending to. Now, the good news for us today is that there are many more diverse perspectives represented in our books, our TV shows, our movies, more mirrors for people who once had few or none, and more windows and sliding glass doors for people like me. The bad news is that book banning in the United States is at an all-time high. 
2022 has surpassed 2021, which was already a record year. And the books being banned are almost entirely multicultural books for young readers, the very books that we most need if we want to live in an inclusive, multiracial democracy. So, as you go out into the world, I would ask that you do three things. First, defend the freedom to read. Defend your public libraries, defend your public schools. Second, embrace unlearning by reading books and consuming culture that does not center you, your culture, or your understanding. Third, dream big, unconstrained by what you have yet to learn. So in conclusion, as you continue your lifelong journey of learning and unlearning, may you stay vigilant against the censors who would squelch curiosity. May all your mistakes bring with them a compensatory wisdom. And may you achieve what you at first thought impossible. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you very much, Dr. Nell. Amy Button Rents, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association, will now bring you greetings from the Alumni Association. I'm excited to join you today to welcome you into the alumni family of Kansas State University and the K-State Alumni Association. As an alumnus, you now join a K-State network of more than 200,000 living graduates. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. Our core values guide us in our mission to help keep you connected with K-State. Our most important value is LINK. We provide the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, internationally, and even virtually. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater for the first time as a new graduate or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. The final value I'd like to talk about today is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Arts and Sciences, along with the K-State Alumni Association, are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and will always be an active member. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. Our membership ranks in the top five nationally for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one, one of the finest universities in the nation. We are also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Now is the time that you all have been waiting for. It's my pleasure to invite President Richard Linton to the podium for the conferral of degrees. Good morning. I now have the privilege of conferring your degrees. Will all fall and summer 2022 graduates of the College of Arts and Sciences please stand By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I am very pleased to confer upon you, the class of 2022, the respective degrees that you have earned at Kansas State University. You may now move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboards. Congratulations.
Graduates, your recognition on stage is a culmination of many hours of hard work and dedication. As you proceed to the stage, please remember to bring your grad pass and grab your diploma cover. Will the marshals please bring the graduates to the podium to be recognized? Graduates, please note you have only the diploma cover. Your diploma will arrive when you have completed the requirements. Following students will receive a bachelor's degree in humanities. Eleanor Jean Strecker, summa cum laude. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in integrated computer science. Cody Bryson Hatton. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in life sciences. Sean Michael McCann. Ashley Nicole Butler. Jesse Lynn Lauren. Nathan Larson, magna cum laude. Tabor Elizabeth Barta, cum laude. Grace Elaine Mefford. Lyndon Merrick Nunley. Abigail Jolene Hepner, summa cum laude. Ashley Nicole Pruitt. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in medical lab science. Brooke Nicole Butler. Kyle Scott Sheever. The following students, including the last one, which I did not just read, will receive a bachelor's degree in social sciences. Jaron Andre Lewis. Trevor Reed Stain. Malik Jamel Noltz. Marvell Tyron Yates. Aaron Barrett Thomas. Henry Emmanuel Rojas. Carolyn Rose Schwarz, summa cum laude. Samuel Callagher Fails. Zihan Wong. Jamal Eugene Turner. Chelsea Renee Love. 
Maggie Mackenzie Congrove. The following students will receive a bachelor degree in communication studies. Megan Marie Weiser. Jessica Marie Shriver. Jake Lincoln Hall. Seth Thomas Horn. Julius Eugene Brents. Marquise Noel. Grant Elliot Luttrell, magna cum laude. Daniel Enrique Pereira Bays. Ryan Samsel, cum laude. Rachel Doreen Grolmas, cum laude. Shantoba Naomi Bright. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in mass communications. Kennedy Brianne Mounts. Emma Claire Porter. Gregory Joseph Gwynn. Ella Grace Young. Dalton Wolf Dressler. Haley Elizabeth Yetka, cum laude. Mary Michelle Weiber. Zoe Celeste Huckins. Caitlin Celine Lumen. Sydney Catherine, Catherine Hanna, cum laude. Tyler Bryce Stutzman. Carson Dean Byers. Landon Riley Reinhardt, cum laude. Jacob Quinlan Hall. Taylor Lee Parrish. Nora Isabel Martinez. Bailey Rochelle Britton, summa cum laude. Joseph Ray Tillery. Ryan Matthew Zielsdorf. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in fine arts. Matthew Zaleski. Mara Janet Sigala. Stephanie K. Straub. Dylan Chance Connell. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in biology. Regan Brooke Crawford. Olivia Claire Peoples. Hallie Paige Bevins. Udo Peace Otune, cum laude. Julia Magdalena Skeeters. Celeste Joy Hammond. Elena J. Cunningham, summa cum laude. 
Laura Jane Martinez. Ashley Ann Panagakis, summa cum laude. John Henry Tumberger, cum laude. Cole Jacob King, summa cum laude. Prutha Jyoti Kajakis. Thomas Alexander McEnany. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in fisheries, wildlife, and conservation biology. Madison Don Nobriga, summa cum laude. Madeline Rose Ball, magna cum laude. Quinlan Kate Lafon, summa cum laude. Lydia Nicole Weiner. Colin Philip Brown. Daniel Blaine Wells. John Russell Hickerson. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in microbiology. Victoria Lynn Wilson. Walker Clayton Thayer. Ian Matthew Stoll. Badia Husseini. Jeremy Michael Jansen. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in chemistry. Brooke Morgan Vogt. Jack Edward Henson. Daniel J. Hubin. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in economics. Abigail Marie Ruder. Magna cum laude. Alyssa, Alyssa K. Pemberton, magna cum laude. Connor Glenn Austin, summa cum laude. Alex David Brock, summa cum laude. Logan Anthony Sheradin. Carter Scott Grenzala, summa cum laude. Liege Shen. Penghua Shen. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in English. Megan Elizabeth Luttrell, summa cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Windsor. Cassandra Elizabeth Mays.
The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in geography. Timothy P. Sullivan. Saxton Douglas Johnson. Trevor Andrew Thomas. Kevin Blaine Johnson. Madison K. Flory. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in geology. Sean Allen Kennedy. Jaden Michael Payne. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in history. Parker Gideon Woodworth. Oscar Juan Preciado II. Matthew Henry Simpson. Jacob Michael Pavlovich. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in mathematics. Javier Marine Loya Shavira. Blake Autumn Hardesty, summa cum laude. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in applied music. Dustin L. Schneider. Maisie Cameron Dulitz, cum laude. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in music. Amelia Kathleen Moore, summa cum laude. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in music education. John Raswell Eldridge. Josephine Louise Daniel. Spencer Bowen Pope. Drake Riley Middleton. James Robert Probst, summa cum laude. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in theater. Kaylee Ann Warren, cum laude. Ryan D. Tier. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in philosophy. Aaron Lee Davidson. Indira Page Koffel. Abigail Nicole Roberts, magna cum laude. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in political science. Jordan Christopher Timmerman, summa cum laude. Kern Daniel Kinnan, magna cum laude. Kylie Jill Cox. Alexa Jordan Shear, summa cum laude. Ermatasia Ruby Larray Helms. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in psychology. Brianna Co Colleen Isabel Vargas. Reagan Emily Bond. Amy Renee Haskell, cum laude. Susan Isabel Wilkinson. Megan Ann Crisco. Elizabeth Lynn Sloan. Haley Elizabeth Green. Sonia Marie Killo. Sadie Rose Saminus. Emma Francis Gross.
Jenna Lee Wilkins. Dean Austin Floyd. Alyssa Lynn Huffin. Caitlin Ann Walton. Rachel Claire Ingeman. Nolan David Omit, summa cum laude. Alexandria Mary Grant, magna cum laude. Zachary David Honeyman Caffey. Claire Emilian Rath Kieber. Ambria May Shager, summa cum laude. Margaret Grace Miller. Ryan Daniel Dix. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in anthropology. Morgan Kelly Reeder. Aiden Hale Nelson. Zoe Catherine Thompson, magna cum laude. Ian Patrick Wilcox. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in social work. Abigail Renee Bohr, summa cum laude. Alexis Sue Haney. Lena Catherine Nelson. Andres Manuel Rico. Emily Ann Stewart, cum laude. Miranda Rose Urban. Kristen Allison Warren. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in sociology. Alicia Shania Carter. Jada Renee Simmons. Madeline Yvonne Foster, cum laude. Raquel Rose Bullock. Ross Franklin Hahn. Blake Joseph Corsentino. Cameron Thomas Patton, magna cum laude. Anne Marie Johnson. Gabriel Allen Kofelt. Logan Blake Wilcox. Mercedes C. Trevino. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in Gender, Women, and Sexuality Studies. Nadia Grace Freeman. The following students will receive a bachelor's degree in statistics. Shimeng Ji. Andrew Thomas Sola.
Congratulations, everybody. Now, however, I would like the graduates to join us in recognizing another group of people who have contributed much and, proceed, and uh, receive little recognition. Uh, would the parents, spouses, family, and friends of the graduates please stand to be recognized? So to conclude our ceremony today, we'd like to invite our graduates to join in the singing of the K-State alma mater led by Ryan, this time as an alumni. After we finish singing, we ask that our graduates follow the directions of the marshals for the recessional. With that, it's time for us all to sing the alma mater. I know a spot that I love full well. Tis not in forest nor yet in dell. Ever it holds me in magic spell. I think of the alma mater. KSU will carry thy banner high. KSU, long, long may thy colors fly. Loyal to thee, thy children will swell the cry. Hail, 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 alma mater. So it is time to go forth and celebrate your graduation and change the world. Be proud of your accomplishments at K-State. And once again, congratulations to everybody. Graduates, as you exit, please use the outside aisles and follow the instructions of the marshals. Thank you. Our ceremony is concluded. <laughs>